Then another thing is if we want to generate methods. Um, so here, uh, we let's go back to the, the class diagram again. And um, by default, we have these get getters and setters, but uh, there are also others we, we can uh, over overwrite, for example. So let's look at the article, maybe. And um, then if we want to check how the to string is implemented, we can have a look here. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Well, we're missing some of the attributes, uh, so that's why this one looks a little bit different. But we can also add, uh, we can overwrite it in the class diagram. So in in this case, we're uh, adding an operation instead of an attribute. So that's the same level as the features here. Let's add this operation. And then uh, if we go to here, um in this operation we can we can rename it to to string and give it again e string as the type so now it's yep showing here the same uh editor would also happen here and now if we want to add um, actual code to it, that is now uh, here it says we should use the annotation, but I'm not sure that that's still the best way to do it. Um, looks like we can do it in this generation tab now. Um, so let's try that. What happens if we put this code here straight from the tutorial into here without changing it. That's very important because we want to see what's going on. Uh, there's even some help here. Yep, body of the generated method. OK. Now let's see what happens. Let's save this and generate the model code. And yep, as expected, blindly it takes the code. and uh, Interestingly, this attribute name that we never edit uh, is now, of course, used in, in this, this code blindly. Um, it's in the tutorial because the tutorial told us add this name, um, but we forgot it. So let's have a look here. We didn't add the name. We just had the created. Um, so now the code doesn't compile in the implementation because we are re re referring to an attribute that um, we didn't, we never added to the class diagram. So uh, let's let's add that uh, here, and then our code should compile. So name, type, again e string. We save it. Uh, we regenerate the model code, which also puts back the, the to string here, and now this thing actually compiles and we can execute it. So this is how we would add um, method implementations, uh, and there are other um, additional examples here.